Tommy, how are you? I'm fine, how are you doing? I'm good, I'm good, I'm Tommy. Tommy? Yep, well, come sit down with me. Come on, let's talk real quick. We're trying to keep it going. Keep it going. Yes, sir. You are now in tune into the world of Tom. All right, so I'm sitting here with Mr. Johnny Wells. Johnny Wells from Saxon. Yeah. All right. Back in the day. Okay, tell us a little bit about yourself. So you still live here in Saxon? No, I live in Saxon. Okay. But back in the day, we yeah, late 70s and early 70s and 80s. I was a and DJ here. Really? Yeah. Okay. That's most of all I did. It was that you okay, but I bought your food. That's most of all I did. So well, he just was telling I us know, about his day that he's building. I DJ the half shop rail on so Wednesday, uh -huh. Thursday, Thursday Friday, Friday okay. Saturday, yeah. and Sunday. We only had one day. Mm -hmm. Well, two days really to recuperate on Monday and Tuesday. Okay. But we party Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Look, I'm going to go outside. Back in the day. And on Sunday. On Sunday. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Go. And the bottom I got her was full. All right. Give us a little bit of history real quick about the bottom. The bottom? Those people come from St. Louis, Kansas City, Chicago. All come to the bottom. And I had friends like from St. Louis, yeah, Memphis, mm -hmm. Chicago. They would bring me music because they knew I was a DJ. Okay. So I would hear, I would have music like from St. Louis, Chicago, Memphis. Mm -hmm. And jamming that music, you know. Yeah. And that's all I did back in the day. Okay. I had a little red post there. Uh -huh. Gangster Wheels. Okay, Gangster yeah. Wheels. Hard in the back. Not a right. in the back, but hard in the back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, you know, like, we had fun back then. Oh, you're a good player. Well, um, yeah. Yeah, don't see it. Yeah. Well, yeah. You know, <laughs> I did my shirt. Yeah. Did okay. So, did you graduate from? Okay. So I graduated from Fox in 1970. Okay, okay. With Larry Lawrence. Okay. Carolyn Lawrence. Okay. Lawrence. okay. Lawrence. okay. Lawrence. okay. Lawrence. okay. Shout out to the Yarber family. Shout out to the Yarber family. The Yarber family lives. I'm going to tell you something. You see, they're going to tell you almost. Okay. It was an alley between our house and their house. Okay. So we were from house to house. Uh huh. Yeah, back in the day. All right, all right. So, give us a story about the hot chaparral. Like, what went down up there? Hot chaparral. There's a boogaloo club downstairs. Okay. What's the boogaloo club? Boogaloo club? Mm -hmm. It didn't do too much. Okay. When I came to the hot chaparral, yeah. We had things pop. Oh. Yeah. Uh -huh. And it okay. was a community club across the street. Okay. But the high shop and rail, I had different music. Uh -huh. You know, I didn't do too much of the rail. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we had a different crowd. Okay. Different crowd. Yeah. yeah. It was a lot of fun. Awesome. 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 You got some pictures? Pictures? Yeah. Back, Back in the day? Yeah. Oh, God. You know what? You got to go look. I, I do have one picture back there. I had this huge. I ain't got no hair now. <laughs> but I had this huge afro. Uh-huh. And there was a lady named Dr. Bomb back in the day. Okay. She was a hair hairdresser. And she would take care of my hair. Okay. And she would pick my hair out. And I had this huge afro. And back in the day, you know they had Jerry Curl? Uh-huh. I didn't have to have a jitter because I had Johnny Curl. Okay. Well, so Johnny Curl. Nat I was naturally curled. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. you just throw yeah. some water yeah. on it real quick. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> we'll <drink some> <laughs> okay. Yeah. But um uh, it was good back then. I graduated with Robin Jolly. Okay. Him and I graduated together. Okay. So we lived like, let's say, Alex and Alex. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. So before I let you go, answer me this. Mm -hmm. Can you describe the unique aspects of the Sunset community's culture and tradition? The culture was great. Back in the day, we had Wiggins. Shout out to the Wiggins Shout family. Shout out to the Wiggins family because we had. Go back and get that barbecue bologna sandwich. Okay. After I keep they, hearing after, about this bologna sandwich. After they got our drink on. You yeah. Know, you, got, you got to get the barbecue bologna. Okay. And you go down to RB and get some barbecue. Okay. And catfish. Yeah. So, you know, everything's right there. We party all night long. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. So, is there anything that you would like to say to those that are um, watching us and listening? Well, I just like to say that... Uh, it's good to be back home. Yeah. It's good to see some of the people still here. Uh -huh. And I would like to see the community really come together and kind of get things back together again. You know, the building and the homes and stuff, everything's kind of like 
let you know, and let it go down. Yes. We need to build it back up. Okay. You know, All the right. love is still here, but That's and take better care of our young folks and train them to do better what they're doing. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, Mr. Johnny, for sitting down with us, and we'll be bringing in our next person as they come in. Okay. All righty then. Nice to talk to you. Nice to talk to you. Tommy. Tommy. Yeah. Tommy. Yeah. All right. Good. <laughs> thank you. Mm -hmm. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe to this channel. Also, slap on that notification bell so that way you are the first to know when I post new content. Thumbs up your favorite and pass on.